welcome to the next session of strength of materials in this session we will discuss two numericals on the topic of rankine gordon formula also called as the rankine formula a 1.5 meter long column has circular cross section of 50 mm diameter the value of l is given as 1.5 meter that is 1500 mm the diameter d is given as 50 mm one end of column is fixed in direction and position and the other is free so we can say that effective length is 2 times l that is 2 into 1500 that is 3000 mm take factor of safety as 2 Calculate the safe load. So I need to find safe load for the first case by using Rankine's formula. For which the value of sigma c is given as five sixty newton per mm square, and alpha is given as one upon sixteen hundred. for pin ends now this is very important it is mentioned that for using rankine's formula i will be saying that both the ends are pin when i have both ends pin that is 2h that is the first formula i can say l is equal to l that is 1500 mm and the second case is by using euler's formula i can take the value of e factor of safety is 2 e is given as 1.2 into 10 raised to 5 for ci that is the column is made of cast iron so i have to be careful while using the formula because the value of le is different for both of them so let's solve when i talk about case 1 that is by using rankine's formula I'll say P R is equal to sigma C into A upon one plus alpha into L E by K the whole square. Now here I'll calculate K as root of I by A. I can be calculated as pi by sixty four d raised to four. That is three zero six point seven nine six into ten raised to three mm raised to four. For calculating area, I'll use the formula pi by four d square. So the value is one nine six three point five mm square. When I substitute these two in this formula of k, I'll get the value of k as twelve point five mm. Now let's substitute all the values here. Therefore, P R is equal to sigma C is given as 560. Area is 1963.5 upon 1 plus alpha is given as 1 upon 1600. For Rankine formula, L E is 1500 and K is 12.5. So when I solve this. I'll get the value of P R as one zero nine point nine five into ten raised to three newton. Now we are not supposed to calculate P R. I need to calculate safe load. For this, the formula will be P R upon F O S. The value of F O S is given as two. So when I divide this, I'll get fifty-four point nine eight into ten raised to three newton, or I can write in the form of kilo newton directly. So this is my answer. Now let's talk about case two. Case two is about using of Euler's formula. So P E is equal to pi square E I upon L E square. This is pi square. The value of E is given as 1.2 into 10 raised to 5. I have calculated I 
as 306.796 into 10 raised to 3 divided by LE is 3000 here, the whole square. So on solving, I'll get PE as 40.4 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. For calculating PS, it is PE upon FOS. So this will be 20.2 kN. Let's take up another numerical. Find Euler's crippling load for hollow cylindrical column of 200 mm external diameter. So the value of DO is given as 200 mm and 25 mm thick. So if you understand, for a hollow column, you will have outer diameter as DO. Inner diameter will be DI and this value of thickness is T. So I can say that DO is DI plus 2T. This is 200 is equal to DI I do not know and the value of T is given as 25 mm. So I can easily calculate DI. This is 50. So 200 minus 50 is 150 mm. Both ends of the column are hinged. So I can say that LE is equal to L. And the value of L is given as 6 meter. That is 6000 mm. The value of E is given as 8 into 10 raised to 4 Newton per mm square. Compare Euler's crippling load with Rankine's crippling load for the same column. So I will have to compare these two values. So let's take out the ratio for them. Say I will calculate PE upon PR. Now there is a second part to this question. Take sigma C as 550 megapascal we know is Newton per mm square. Alpha is given as 1 upon 1600. For what length of the column, the critical loads by Euler's and Rankine's formula will be equal to each other. So this is another part of question wherein I need to calculate the value of LE such that PR will be equal to PE. This is given to me. So let's solve the first part first. For solving the first part, I will use the formula of PE and PR and calculate their values. Before that, let's go for calculating I, that is pi by 64, DO raised to 4 minus DI raised to 4. I know it is pi by 64, 200 raised to 4 minus 150 raised to 4. This value turns out to 53.69 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. This is I. We can calculate area as pi by 4 do square minus di square. You can substitute now. The area value is 13744.47 mm square. Now since I know i and a both, I can easily calculate k as root of i upon a. This is 62.5 mm. These two are known, so it's very easy to calculate. Now let's talk about Euler's load, that is PE. This will be pi square EI upon LE square. This is pi square, the value of E is 8 into 10 raised to 4. I is 53.69 into 10 raised to 6. And LE is 6000, the whole square. So this answer of PE turns out to 1177.55 kN. We can also calculate PR. It is sigma C into A upon 1 plus alpha into LE by K the whole square. So this will be 550. The value of area is 1374447 
upon 1 plus alpha is given as 1 upon 1600, Le is 6000 and the value of K is 62.5. So on solving this I get PR as 1118.26 kN. Now I can calculate PE upon PR. This ratio is very easy to calculate just by dividing. I get the answer as 1.053. So I can say that PE or the crippling load by Euler's formula is 1.053 times the load by Rankine's formula. So this is how you can compare the two answers. Now let's go to the second case wherein it is said that PR and PE are equal to each other and I need to calculate the value of LE. So let's substitute PE is pi square EI upon LE square is equal to Rankine's formula is sigma C into A upon 1 plus alpha LE by K the whole square. Now in this what I am going to do is I will substitute all the values only leaving LE value as unknown. I will calculate its answer. So when I substitute all the values that is known, I will get the value of Le as 7453.56 mm. So that is how both the numericals are supposed to be solved. I hope you have understood the numericals. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session. Thank you. Thank you.